Hi viewers, today I'm going to be relearning the TPMS sensors on a 2007 Toyota Camry. On my last video I had done diagnostics on this same car and luckily my friend has fixed the two faulty sensors and I'm going to be relearning the vehicle today. So the first thing to do is to gauge your tires. So make sure that you have exactly the pressure as listed. So here has it at 30 psi. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So that's good now. So next is to go into the TPMS service function, select this car and trigger all the sensors. At this point, you don't need to connect to the vehicle just yet. See Camry. See two. Right. So starting from the front left tire will trigger all the sensors as I said. That's registered. That's registered as well. That's registered too. So it tells me that the sensor, the left rear is duplicated. The right rear is, the battery is low. And I think that's the reason why we're having this astronomically high value here. Usually when batteries are low, they can send all sorts of false signals. So I'll take that as the battery being low. What I'll do now is that I'll go in and read the TPMS values from by OBD as against you know using the TPMS sensor tool. So for that I'll connect the max device to the vehicle. So I'm now connected. So let's do diagnostics. So there's a discrepancy between between the TPMS ID for the left front tire. That's expected. That was just replaced. So I read this again. And I've been able to get a reading from all tire. Let's try to relearn. I don't have a spare tire sensor. So it's going to unlock the ECU. So it says read ID fails. Um, please check if the TPMS warning light goes off. So the TPMS warning light is actually off. So I say Yes, it then says OBD really and okay. So that's pretty much done. Now, if I go back to diagnostics, so everything is good. So, what part of the relearn process, which is the last bit, says you should test drive the vehicle above 19 miles per hour for at least 10 minutes? and then um, verify that the TPMS warning light remains off. So that's the last step of this. So thank you very much for watching this video. Hope this was helpful. Um, see you on the next video. Thanks.